Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how you can make a game object move left and right smoothly by swiping your finger. In the previous video we created this simple scene with space background, a rocket and animated engine fire. I put a link to that video into the description, so you can check out how it's done if you want to. So in this case our rocket is controlled by a new script, which is named a smooth move swipe. This script is attached to rocket game object. Let's take a look at this script. It's quite a simple one. So first we have a couple of variables that will hold start touch position and end touch position. Next two variables will contain rocket's position, where it starts to move and where it moves to. Fly time variable represents an amount of time that passed from the moment when rocket started to move. And flight duration variable means amount of time that takes the rocket to fly from start to end position. The lower this value is, the faster the rocket flies. Then in update method we check if touch event occurs and touch face equals to begin, which means that we put a finger on the screen. Then we mark this touch position as start touch position. And if touch event still takes place and touch face equals to ended, which means that we release a finger, then we mark this touch position as end touch position. After that we need to check a couple of conditions. First one. If X coordinate of end touch position is less than X coordinate of start touch position, which means that we swiped finger to the left, and if rocket's X coordinate is greater than negative 1.75, which means that the rocket is not at the left side of the screen, then we start coroutine named fly and pass its string parameter equals to left, so rocket is supposed to fly to the left. Second condition. If X coordinate of end touch position is greater than X coordinate of start touch position, which means that we swiped finger to the right, and if rocket is not at the right side of the screen, then we start coroutine and pass it a string parameter equals to right, so rocket should fly to the right in this case. What is happening inside the coroutine? First of all, it takes string where to fly parameter, which can be equal to left or to right. Depending on that, two different blocks of code can be executed. So in case, if where to fly equals to left, the following code will run. First, we set fly time to zero as starting point in time. Then we mark start rocket position as starting point in space. Then we calculate end rocket X position, which will be at 175 points to the left from its start position. Y and Z coordinates stay the same. Then we go through the loop while fly time is less than fly duration. First, we increase fly time by time delta time. And then we modify rocket's position using vector 2 lerp function. This function interpolates rocket's position in space between start position and end position, depending on third parameter, which is altering between 0 and 1, where 0 is start position and 1 is end position. When third parameter equals to 0.5, for example, then rocket's position is in between start and end position. In effect, the exact same code will be executed in case if where to fly equals to right. The only difference is in plus sign in end rocket position calculation. So in this case rocket goes to the right. The rest of the code is absolutely the same. That's the script. And this is how it works on my Android device. Hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.